comes with paint and sand and oh my god, paint dude, dude, sand. there's a spider, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa! There you are. You, wait, don't you need that though? No, I don't. Eventually, oh. what happened was dude, went all the way through. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Let's go. Oh. Oh. We showed you this before. It's been a minute, though. Well, not everyone has seen it. No, not everyone's seen it. But you know, if you watch, go back in our previous history in our videos, you will see an old, old, old car that we uh, found and you know, kind of a bummer find. Here it is. This is a 1970 and a half Pontiac Firebird Esprit. We had to really think about it. We haven't seen this car in how long? Almost a year and a half, almost oh. two. We was in any other garage that we had, you know, oversized true car. You know, it's been neglected a little bit because we've been working on other things. But I'm excited what we're doing with this. Not a lot of people have actually seen those videos. They were very early on. If you guys haven't seen them, when we first really started out YouTube, and I think we only, what, we didn't have the, no, we had this camera, right? Yeah. It was like a little bit after we started using the actual phone and then moved to the camera. So it was very early on, most of you guys, I've only come half the way, if not now. But definitely go see those videos and you can see where we found this car and where it started. And I think you guys will really like it. Like I showed in those old previous videos, but I need to show you guys again. This car has some cancer, you know? Uh, one of the things about it is uh, one of my best friends is a metal fabricator. He actually owns a metal shop. So I never showed him all of this cancer on this vehicle. What he's gonna end up doing is uh, helping us boys here uh, cut all this cancer out. And we already found panels, replacement panels for it. To get everything back straight. So. First things first, all the cancer must go. The floor, uh, matter of fact, before I even get to the inside and show you that, I'm gonna show you down here. Down here is some cancer, guys. You can see it's been cut out already. A lot of body filler. Oh, so somebody tried to, you know, do that. Well, it doesn't look like, I mean, you could see the- You can see it. Fiberglass yeah. on there already. We're gonna cut it. That's essentially how it's gonna go. Line here, gone. Or I might even do it here. Cut it there. And this whole panel's coming off. Both sides. Whole panel, gone. For that reason. For that reason, just for that cancer down there because it's probably hidden under here, under this primer. You can tell this body filler right here. Yeah, I got some years working with uh, body work, so I definitely tell it's got some fillers some places. So we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna weld new panels in. If you got cancer, you never wanna cover it up with fiberglass. See that? Whoa, wait. That's in there. That's fiberglass, that's all that is. Look at that. Whoa! There you are. You, wait, don't you need that though? No, I don't. You see this? Somebody decided to lay fiberglass, and this is what happened. So, eventually, what would have happened was. Dude, <laughs> it went all the way through. Yeah. You would have lost your seats because this is where your butt sits at. Right I wouldn't here. trust that, honestly. No, you would have fallen through. No, no, no. <laughs> so, at this point, what I have found, go online, do some more research. I'm going to end up cutting this like this, all the way around, where it's still solid. Still solid metal. I'm cutting this all the way around onto this. It's a pinch weld right here, guys. If you can't see the filler, it's a pinch weld line right here. So it's gonna be cut all on this line all the way up. And we're gonna put one long floorboard piece in. And that's going to get rid of this situation. So only this side is this way, that floorboard over there is solid. There's no fiberglass, there's hardly any rust on it. Another thing too, we gotta do. There's gonna be a another huge project. All of this must go. We're taking Basically this whole thing. Yep, that's all rusty. We're gonna cut this whole cowl out here. We got a welder brace on the inside. We'll take, end up taking the door panels and stuff off. We're gonna make it like a little simple cage to keep the car square. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're literally gonna cut on this pinch weld line here. Right there, you see that with the pinch weld? We're going to, to cut all this out. All this is coming out. They make this piece too. So you're, guys. You're essentially remaking the car. I, I'm rebuilding it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Make it so it's reliable, not hit a bump, and maybe fall through the floor. This is a 1970 and a half Pontiac 350. This one came with what, 200 and 
35 horses, something like that, 240 horses, and like 300, 320 pounds feet of torque. Actually, something very impressive for what would be, yeah. you know, a muscle car back yeah, then. Yeah, for back then, it actually wasn't bad. Guys, I love old schools, but if it wasn't a Pontiac motor where the parts are so expensive, I would probably keep it. So it's going LS. Just be keep it out there. Let's put it out there. Putting a 5.3 in it. We're going to carbureted it style. We, we're going to make it uh, We're gonna make it run. But you can see the frame is completely intact. Oh, yeah. It's soft, it, solid. It one really piece. good. Um, I mean, even the suspension components to the frame look actually really good. Yep. It's got a 12-bolt rear end in it, which is good because that can handle some horsepower right out the box. Of course, what about I'm, the transmission? The transmission. Ooh-wee. That makes some kits out there. The transmission can handle over 1,300, 2,000 horses. Depends how drastic we want to go with it. It's called a power glide, which is only two speed transmission. That means faster and faster if you don't know. Most of you are probably questioning, why do we have some small, tiny, dinky, well, they're not dinky wheels, they're actually really nice wheels, but they're BMW wheels, if you didn't see on that side, um, while we were doing some slow motion pans for it. But what wheels are these? I'm, I'm even surprised they, what, bolted <laughs> up with the whole pattern. These are 335 BMW wheels. This is off a uh, 3 Series, 335 two-door coupe. Ironically enough, the back spacing is wrong, so the offset is wrong, but they work for the vehicle to roll back and forth, and these were just some throwaways. They're bent, you know, who cares? This car weighs 3,492 pounds. That's like the side, that's like the weight of our cars. cars. Like the yeah, Volvos? That's, Volvo that's two Vol, or no? Actually, it's one Volvo. What am I saying? Well, dude? this one weighs what, 3280 or something like that? 3380 something like that. Mine's 35 something. Right, exactly. Essentially, it's a four four door Volvo weight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Essentially, I mentioned we need to fill up the wheel well gap. I mean, it looks good, but yeah. I feel like bigger wheels is gonna make it look better. I think I got some bigger wheels. I need to show you, brother. Come on. Are they gonna fit? They will. We gotta take a look pattern. You know, but I think I, well, if the BMW wheels fit, but you, you still gotta check them, bro. It's an American car. And you had a European cars wheel fit it. Isn't that kind of insane? It what are the insane. odds for that? Like seriously. Now, now, the crazy part is I got these American wheels down there that they probably won't fit because of that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Those are some real classic wheels there for you boys if you don't know. Drag right. Yeah. 60. Yeah, those are called slot wheels and they're from the 60s. I actually bought it from a gentleman that has a, uh, he had them off of a GTX. So a GTX is a Plymouth GTX with a 426 Hemi, classic car, you know, same things, you know, Roll Runners, uh, Super Bs, all that good stuff. That's what those wheels came off of. Our uh, period correct car, you know, American Racing Wheels. Uh, I have all the lug nuts and everything for them, and if you see, they're not pitted or anything. So, have a full set. If you want to know how wide they are. Dude, they look chunky. They actually look super chunky. That's how wide. Oh my geez, dude. It's as big as It's bigger than a gas it's, can, it's bro. It's literally as big as a one gallon can. Look at that, bro. It's crazy, right? So that is a that's tire a, right there. That's a 12 and a half inch wheel right there. So that's a lot of rubber being on the back, boy, I tell you. Yeah, <laughs> that is a lot of rubber. That is a lot of meat on that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? That's not acceptable. Okay. I almost just broke my ankle, bro. Hey, you all right? Man, look, boy, that thing bit you. Ooh, wee. What that? Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped two for flinching, my little dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair, bro. So, those are nice wheels, though. I can't yeah. wait to see those on the actual car. I have all four of them. Uh, matter of fact, there's one down there. Oh, there yeah, it is. And one right there. You're going to need new tires, though. Oh, yeah. That's those look game. ancient. Those look absolutely ancient. What's in here? Oh, this is glass. All right. Oh, you got a drive shaft there, too. Yeah, there's a drive shaft out of the car. Hold on. I kept all the parts. I thought this was a motorbike for a minute. I was like, where's the motor on? Oh, man, that's my 1972 healthy sea breeze. <laughs> Dude, look at the seat. Yes, look how is. big the seat is. It's in pretty good shape. You know, this is what happens when you get old boring stuff. You know, I like boats and stuff, so you see the big copper thing up there. But, guys, you see I got all four sets of the wheels. You know, we'll lock the shed back up, and uh, we'll head back up top. What are you doing, bro? Well, this is the interior piece. I was just trying to see how it went. Look at that. See, I figured it out already. Well, good job. You want a cookie? You want a star? A cookie star? I said, make me a cake, mother. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Yo, couch. Why the couch? What did the couch do? I have all the interior pieces like this. Here's the other one right there. Yeah. That goes in there like that. So, yeah. you know, look at this. You got a little rust on it, guys. So, this is why all this stuff's taken apart. See that? This one's sitting down in here. Yes. So, all needs to be replaced, but it's cool to see what you need to replace. This. Let me get this out of here. Are you gonna like repaint it or something? Oh yeah, man. All this stuff is getting interior redone, but you see how Oh, that, that looks good, dude. That, nice. that looks freaking good. Yeah, bro. I mean, this is the cool part, guys. You can see, I know how this stuff goes back together. Time to paint and sand and- Oh my God, paint dude, dude, sand. there's a spider, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, look, 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 look in here. I thought it was a spider, but look at that. Look so at that metal spider? piece. I thought it was a spider on camera, but it's just a piece of... <laughs> I'm sorry. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, this is the Pineac is free. Big Greek, your man Todd behind that camera. Please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family about us. Here we are.